Martin Devlin worked so hard. He said, oh, I could, I could take some time out of my busy schedule preparing my show for this afternoon. Oh, yes, I might be available at uh, 12 past eight. And he is available. And he joins us now. Look, first, Marty, you, before, we get into, well, before we get into your amazing personal story, let's talk about that rugby. I have to say, I had a smile on my face all day Sunday just thinking about Dane Coles and the dynamic he brings to any rugby match he's involved in. That was some of the greatest needle niggle I've ever seen. So good, the guy is still carrying it after the whistle's gone. He is the best debater in world rugby. There is no question, is he? He takes the floor, he, he outlines the argument, he comes up for a rebuttal afterwards and then he sums up at the end of the match. And the fact that Mo Montero pushed him like he did afterwards says absolutely everything. Coles, he's got a big smile on his face. Look, it brought back so many elements, didn't it, that game that us All Blacks fans have just been desperate to see uh, not only this season, but also at the end of last year. I would actually say, track it back. You know, we, we struggled to, to overcome the Fijian Fords. We, we lost to Argentina a couple of years ago. We've been, you know, we've been beaten by all and sundry, haven't we? And that was a, a game and a performance where all of a sudden you just really felt like you were watching an all-black side. Now, there will be, of course, the naysayers and the doom brigade and, and, and those who will come up with every excuse. It's Argentina, it's wet, the referee, all of this kind of stuff. Look, I think we're at the stage uh, with all-black fans right now as you isolate and you you celebrate. That was a terrific win. We played really well. Right from the off, we just roared into them. We scored some fantastic tries. Physically, we were into it. I mean, you saw Sam Kane cut a bloke in half. You don't see that very often, do you? The players... Look, I liken it to the Man United players at, at the moment. I know you hate the parallel between the round ball and the oval ball, Sean, but you see players emotionally reacting when something happens, like a big tackle goes in, they're slapping each other and they're revving each other up and they're getting into it. That gets the crowd going. All of a sudden you've got an emotional response. So, you know, it, it is one game. And, and, and the peculiar thing about this year's rugby championship as well, you know, mate, that all of the series have been drawn one all. The Aussies and Argentina split ones over there. We split ones in South Africa. Aussie and South Africa have just split ones. We've just split ones with Argentina. We've all got two wins, two losses. So you've got this beautiful scenario, mate. What, are we all in crisis? Are we all coming right? Or is it a mixture of both? Yeah, look, I, I want to mention Sam Kane. And as you know, I'm not, I haven't been over the years the greatest Sam Kane fan, to be honest. But when he walked off and when he did his post-match, I saw a different human being. I didn't see the schoolboy looking longingly at me, am I doing okay yet? Do I deserve this yet? I actually think I saw a man who had been through, forged in the fire. And I just felt he looked two or three inches taller. He looked more of a man and more of an all-black captain than I've ever seen him. Well, okay, and, and, and that's what a performance and that's what a win does. And track it back to the last 14 minutes, or maybe the whole game in Joe, but we, we, know, we keep talking about that 14 minutes because we're down to 10, we're down on the scoreboard and, and won. But, you know, we had a desperation yet a calmness about us during that game. It was like we had nothing to lose in Joburg. The, you know, the, the, everyone's, the, what, the coach's head's on the chopping block. All of you players, the whole country's in apoplexy at the moment. You just got absolutely dicked the week before. You know, go out there and just play, and if you don't win, well, none of us expect you to. There was almost a parallel element of that in the second test against Argentina. And the worry for me is, you know, all black sides, and Justin Marshall will be on the show again today talking about this, all black sides shouldn't and don't need that motivation, Sean. All black sides should be yeah, like that, yeah, I get rev you. to go yeah. on that edge every single game. So if we have to get painted into a corner where there, you know, all hope is gone before we actually get to play like that again, you know, well then then this win against Argentina means nothing. The other thing nothing. about it is is that we have to go and do this against Australia and we have to do it convincingly against them. Yeah, My but they didn't right look now, great. They didn't look great later in the evening, did they? No, they didn't. No, they didn't at all. And having said that, but the week before, they did. So, you know, the first game against Argentina over there, Australia put 41 points on them. The second, they look weak as. So, you know, now we play them. And, 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 and you know, is this going to be another one-all split? I'm actually picking that it will be. I wouldn't be surprised if they Do turn us open one Colsey? of these games. Do we start Colsey just to completely no. mess with the, the no. Aussies' heads? No, hell no. Tuki Ahau is our best player at the moment on the field. You can tell that. A really humble dude who you saw him being yeah. interviewed afterwards, he's the size of an yeah. um, Arctic truck. 
and he just loves playing. He's inspired by his teammates, all of that kind of stuff. No, Dane Coles, to me, is the exact guy you bring off a bench for the exact reason that you did because he is just going to... It's like he's got his finger up your nose the whole game, isn't it? I mean, he's honestly, he's picking stuff out of there that you haven't even known was up there since you were a child. He's 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 doing all those things like he flicks you under the chin. He's, he's chipping you, he's... Look, I, I, we had him on the program last week. I love him to bits, mate, yeah, because yeah. I've actually really enjoy, I've enjoyed him on the on the sideline doing it for Sky and everything else. You know, you should feel good finally about that All Black performance because if you don't feel good about that All Black performance, I don't know what what you'll feel good about. We all know, we all know that we've been rubbish. We all know that there will probably be more rubbish to come. But think about it, people like the Poms do. Isolate, separate. This is one game, and just enjoy the result. Just enjoy the mm. performance. And to see Ian Foster now, can I just banging say, the table to, and slapping and smiling, yeah. I loved it. 